Hi, I'm Alicia Johnson. I'm one of the site administrators for the Rising Scholar Summer Program here at E.L. Miller Elementary School, and it has been a wonderful experience. The students have learned so much about fruits and vegetables and why it's so important for them to eat healthy. They are planting seeds to start building their gardens. They have learned about food deserts. They have learned about food injustices, and it's been a tremendous experience for students as well as teachers. Thank you so much. This has been an awesome program this summer. My name is Ms. Henderson, and I have three of my students here who have conducted a short research project on whether or not they lived um, in a food desert. First, I want to ask my students, do you all remember um, what a food desert is? Okay, what is a food desert? A food desert, a food desert is a place that, have, that has one that don't have easy access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Hey guys, welcome of this lovely day. So guys, this is E.L. Miller's Nest um, Garden. So over here we have we have green tomato. This is a large cucumber. This is jalapeno poppers. This is squash. And I'm gonna lift my cup up and I'm going to do, let's count it out. One, two, three, four scoops of organic soil. Then I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna make a hole in the center. I'm gonna make a hole in the center. I'm gonna make a hole, okay? And this hole is for our seed. So then I'm gonna take like two or three radish seeds. Okay. And I'm just going to put them right there in the center where I put my hole. Then I'm going to go back and cover them up so that you cannot see them. All we see is the soil. Then after that, we're going to pour just a little bit to make it to make it moist. Okay. And then we may have to go back and put one more on top of it, okay? Just so that it's covered completely and that it's moist, okay? The objective of um, our experiment today is for the children to be able to create more options for themselves. They've learned about food deserts and um, also food injustice. So some students may not have the same access that other students have to fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables. So this way they know how to create their own options. Hi, I'm Ms. Jackson from Stone Mountain Middle School and these are a sample of the snacks that we were able to give our students today as we end the food justice unit and they were able to sample. Hi, I'm Wanda Gibson of Champion Middle School, and here's our list of ingredients that we had when we challenged our kids to be master chefs. We threw the ingredients on the board and challenged them to go ahead and find some healthy recipes to make and compete against each other. So these are actually some of the recipes that our chefs came up with. All right, so a couple of our master chefs chose to go the pork chop route and they came up with glazed pork chops that included paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic pepper. Uh, they wanted to add a little bit of roasted okra on the side and some onion rings for variety. What we love to see when the kids were coming up with their recipes is they were uh, actually being introduced to some spices and things that they may not have been familiar with before.
Another team also did some baked pork chops, but they included brown sugar, onions, soy sauce. So myself and my co-teacher, when we walked away from some of these recipes, we took pictures of it. We said, we're trying this at home because it was so good. And then another team went with salmon. So they went with stuffed baked salmon and squash on the side and uh, strawberries for dessert instead of cake or ice cream. Hello, I'm Mark Bryant, the proud principal here at E.L. Miller Elementary School. I want to take this opportunity and thank this wonderful staff here this year at E.L. Miller 2018-19 Rising Scholar Summer Program. It was fabulous. The kids had a wonderful time, learned a lot, and it's short and extended. Looking forward to it next school year. Thank you.